It's a nice day on sunny Long Island, um, and I'm getting ready to get started with my next project. I um, wanted to do something else in the backyard. My daughter wanted a hammock, so what we decided to do is we decided to set up like a little beach area, make our own little uh, little sandy beach section in the backyard, uh, set up a hammock, and I think it should look pretty cool when we're done. Anyway, this is going to be the beginning. Okay, so I've laid out my area where I'm going to, um, where I'm going to set up my hammock. Uh, I have my 4x4 posts over here. This looks like a good area. Alright, I just finished digging my first hole. Um, I went down just over two feet. Now I'm going to get some concrete, fill it in the hole, uh, level it out, mix it up, and get this thing set and let it dry and start the other post. Okay, so I have the post set, I have it leveled, and I just filled the hole with uh, quick -re concrete. Actually, uh, this is some concrete. I had a half a bag left over from my last project when I used the wolf maker to uh, make my fire pit area. So that's why you never throw anything away. You never know when you're gonna need it. I filled it up with concrete and you can literally just turn around and fill it with water. It doesn't have to be fancy, you don't have to mix it ahead of time. Just dump a bunch of water in there, let it sit and let it set, and tomorrow it should be good to go. That's all I really need to do with this. Now I need to dig the hole and set the other post. All right, so I just finished setting up the second pole. I just put the uh, concrete in the hole and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna spray it down with some water and I will let both posts set and I will continue tomorrow with the rest of this project. Okay, so my poles are all set up and they're nice and solid now. The next step is going to be we need to put up the hooks that I'm going to use. Now, I picked these up. You could probably go with any kind of eye hook or eye bolt uh, to mount these, but I decided to go with this. I think this is going to work out pretty good. Basically what I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm going to drill the hole right here, do the same thing on both sides, and then we'll be able to screw this in and hook up the hammock. So away we go. Okay, I finished putting in the eye bolt that we're going to connect the uh, hammock to. I repeated the same process on this side as well. Basically just drilled the hole through it and put it in. Now we're going to try putting up the hammock and let's see how it looks. Alright, so we just put up the hammock and everything looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to have my daughter come out and she can do the trial run on it to see how she likes it. Alright, so I'm in the process of digging out the area from my daughter's backyard beach. And um, first step is to get rid of the, uh, well, the lawn that's here. So basically take a spade shovel. I just marked it out quickly so I'd have some idea what I'm doing. Follow along and just take out those little pieces and then I'm going to have to dig out the rest. And I can continue. All right, I finally got the area dug out um, where I'm going to set up my little beach for my hammock. Um, this is always like the hardest part of the project, digging everything out. Uh, this is where I guess if you have a nice strong son, it's probably still not going to help you because he's probably out playing with his friends or at the gym or something anyway. But if you can get him to help you, it certainly, you know, certainly would make things go faster but we're going to start setting up the edging and then um, we'll move on from there. Okay the edging I decided to go with is this composite edging that comes with these spikes that you basically just take it you level it out you spike it in and it's flexible so we should be able to follow along and make a nice path. All right I just finished putting down the um, my rubberific garden edging and I gotta say this stuff works pretty good it's nice and easy to put down. You don't have to dig it out like you do with the regular guarding edging that I've used over most of my yard. Uh, you basically just put it, you spike it down. The one piece connects into the other. If you have to do a, a garden where you're doing big edges, this thing is a pretty good solution. This worked out nice for me. Um, I'm short one piece, which I'll just pick up tomorrow. Uh, so on to the next part of this project. All right, I got all the weed blocked down. Um, and I have all the edging in. Now it's just a matter of putting down the sand. Alright, I finished putting out all the sand and um, 
everything's looking good. Now I just need to put out the hammock and some accessories and we should be good to go. Alright, so we finally finished our backyard beach hammock project. Uh, finished putting all the accessories out and everything really came out great. Uh, I decided to paint the poles to give it a little more character. I'm um, really happy with the way everything came out. My daughter wanted her own little private beach and now she's got one. So now we have one more little beach on Long Island. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, uh, I'll have to figure out what our next project is going to be.